It was a wild first day of free agency that we saw a lot of money spent in Fred Van Fleet getting paid more than Kyrie Irving. Some team, some players returning to their team, surprisingly. We're going to break down a lot of the deals and some more right after this. Welcome to the number one place for your daily basketball news and analysis, NBA Central. What's going on, NBA fans? Welcome to another episode of NBA Central, your number one spot for everything NBA related. Let's get into it. So we had a wild day of free agency, the first day of free agency. Like when you look at Fred Van Vliet signing the first max level contract uh, of, of the free agency period, he signs for three years, $130 million with the Houston Rockets. And this was a day in which a lot of clutch sports uh, free agents and players got paid, period. Fred Van Vliet getting $130 million over the course of three years to sign to the Houston Rockets. And, you know, he's leaving the Raptors. He brings some much-needed veteran leadership to the to that Houston Rockets team as they are trying to develop that team. And when you look at the Houston Rockets, right, every team had to spend up to 90% of, the, of their salary cap to get to that floor. Otherwise, the, the NBA just takes that money back. And the Houston Rockets was one of the teams that had a lot of spending power and, and while, yes, they needed a true point guard to probably help develop some of those players, it, you know, Fred Van Vliet benefits from that. He gets absolutely freaking paid. Um, and then, you know, when you look at, at that as well, Bruce Brown gets paid. He goes to the Pacers who just, you know, traded for Chris Duarte, have been mathering down there. But he gets, uh, with his contract, he gets two years, $45 million does Bruce Brown get to go to the uh, to the Indiana Pacers on a, a very solid deal for that team. I like him a lot. But, you know, let's look at some of the players that stayed with their team. Jeremy Grant getting five years, $160 million, as that team really is trying to, I guess, do everything they can to convince Dame Lillard to stay, even though I still think that that is kind of the wrong move for that team. I still look at that team and and being at that they need to try to move Dame and just let Anthony Simons and, and Scoot Henderson, Shaden Sharp kind of just develop but, hey, you just never know. And the Portland Trailblazers are still a team that could be on the lookout to actually move Anthony Simons, even though I don't necessarily agree with that. Cam Johnson, keep in mind, Cam Johnson, who was a surprise to even go in the lottery, uh, some people expect him to be a low first-round pick in the year that he comes out. He agrees to a four-year, $108 million deal to stay with the Brooklyn Nets. But considering all the superstars of that team went out, they're going to be a young team for a while. We've always kind of wondered what that direction of that Brooklyn Nets team is going to be. It seems like they're going to really let him, Miles Bridges, develop as they you know try to bottom out, get as many, uh, develop as many of their players that they have on their team, allow to stay there. I think that that's a solid deal for him. You look at Jakob Poto getting his long-term deal, four years with a player option on year four, $80 million just to stay with the Toronto Raptors. Extremely solid deal, I think, there as well for them. I I I I love Jacopoto. He was probably my number one center free agent uh, on the market uh, for that team. So you know, I mean, for any team, so he gets paid. I think he deserves to to get the money that he got. Real Hachimura, he stays with the uh, Los Angeles Lakers on a three year, fifty one million dollar deal. The Roy Hachimura, solid. And I think when you look at 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 Roy, like he still has so much development to do. He barely scratched the surface of what he could be with the Washington Wizards, and we saw a little bit of what he could be with the with the Los Angeles Lakers last season after he joined that team. And I really do think when you look at the Lakers and just how strapped for cash they are, how they need to hold on to their depth, that's really what helped propel them on the back half of the season after they made all those trades. They had to keep Rui Hachimura. Kyle Kuzma re-signs with the Washington Wizards for four years, $120 million. Now, this was a little bit surprising for me. I wouldn't have been surprised if they if the Wizards you know, moved uh, Kyle Kuzma in a sign-and-trade type deal or anything like that. Well, it looks like he's going to stay with the Washington Wizards. We'll see what that team ends up doing. They still have, um, you know, Jordan Poole down there. They have Tyus Jones down there. And that could be a team where I don't think they're going to win a lot of games. They could be a fun team to watch, right? Chris Middleton stays with the Milwaukee Bucks on a three-year, $102 million deal with a uh, player option being in that third year so he can get out of that deal in two years. So to say... Uh, I think that's a nice deal for them. Chris Middleton is so important to their culture and what they have going on down there. I, you know, I, I think it was important for them to keep to keep him as well. I don't think they really could have replaced him. Yeah, he has he's can be up and down at times, things like that. But I really do, you know, for them and, and everything going on with that team, it kind of makes sense. Draymond Green re-signs with the Golden State Warriors on a four-year, $100 million deal. 
Um, you know, there was a lot to be made. People thinking that Trey may try to make his way out, may try to join LeBron. He ends up staying with the Golden State Warriors, which we've always said. I've always said, even after, you know, the season ended, that I did not see that team, you know, sending him away. They end up sending off Jordan Poole. So I think that that really signify a signal that he would have been returning as well. Kyrie Irvin also stays with the Dallas Mavericks on a three-year, $126 million deal. Um, when you look at it, the Mavericks were motivated to keep him. I think Kyrie m didn't get maybe some of the offers that he thought he would get going into free agency. So that that team stays together. Uh, they already added Derek Lively. They're going to have to you know really focus on adding some defensive players around what him and Luka could do. I give that a solid deal for them. They, they kind of were in that situation where both sides – it made most sense for, for all of them to stay together, in my opinion. So, you know, that that's there. But then you start looking at some of these other deals around the league on this, right? Uh, Gabe Vincent goes to the Lakers as well on a three-year, $33 million deal. Uh, you know, with what he meant to that Miami Heat team in their, in their finals run, right? Didn't, didn't win the title, but just how he was a nice compliment player to what uh, Jimmy Butler did down there. I think that, you know, the Lakers probably looked at that and how they need uh, role players that can play uh, complementary uh, roles for them as well. Gabe Vincent kind of fits down there, right? Uh, is that a little bit of an overpay for him? Probably a little bit, right? We'll see if they get the best version of Gabe Vincent. Uh, they get a nice two-way player that is going to be, you know, that was crucial to the Miami uh, Heat. And so when you look at the 22 games that he played in the uh, playoffs, 12.7 points per game, 3.5 assists on 30%, 37% shooting from, uh, from three, they can use that a lot. Seth Curry also joins the Mavericks, which, you know, I said they need defense, but, you know, they end up, you know, signing one of the better shooters in the league. Two-year deal. We don't have the details of the money quite yet, but I like that for them as well. The Mavericks, I'll tell you what, the Mavericks and the Suns, who we're going to talk about a little bit later, did a pretty nice job adding complimentary pieces to what they have going on there. The Toronto Raptors, who lost Fred Van Vliet, end up now replacing him with Denny Schroeder on a two-year, $26 million deal. I like that for them a lot. Um, is it a bit of a step back for the Toronto Raptors? Absolutely. But I think you're getting a player that knows how to be a complimentary piece. Uh, we'll see what, how, what he ends up changing down there, but Hey, I, I, I like it as well. We'll see what, we'll see what happens with Scotty Barnes down there as well. There's been some rumblings that he could potentially be the point for them, which I don't see that at all, but Hey, where do things have happened? Karis LeVert stays with the Cleveland Cavaliers as well. Two years, $32 million deal for him. Solid, uh, overall for him. You know, the Cavs are trying to really primarily run it back. Uh, maybe with a year of development, some continuity, they're able to, you know, come out a little bit better. So we'll see what happens with that. Eubanks. Drew Eubanks signs with the Phoenix Suns on a two-year deal. Player option in that, in that second year. So it could end up just being a one-year deal. We don't have the de contract details yet, but considering the Suns didn't have a lot of money, I don't expect him to get a lot. Kobe White stays with my Chicago Bulls on a three-year, $33 million deal with $7 million in incentives, so it could end up being a $40 million deal if he hits those incentives. But, hey, worse, it's uh, less than the mid-level exception, considering the Chicago Bulls didn't have any outright cap space to replace him if he left. Makes sense there. Torian Prince signs also to the Lakers. Said, I like a lot what the Lakers do. He gets a one-year $4.5 million deal uh, with him. I like him as a complimentary piece. He also averaged 9.1 points per game on 38% shooting from deep last season. They can use it. I think that, that that's going to work well for the Los Angeles Lakers and what they need. Keep talking about the Suns. The Suns did a pretty good job in free agency, signing Bates Diop to a five-year, uh, five million two-year deal with a player option in that second year. So again, could be he could just end up being a one-year deal if he ends up performing, gets back on the open market, could potentially get more money in a case like that. So that is something to look out for as well. But again, I really like what the Suns did because they also. Uh, re-signed Damian Lee as well. He gets a two-year deal as well. We don't have the details. Also a player option in the second year. So what the Suns have done is basically given a lot of one-year prove-it deals with if the player doesn't prove it and doesn't decide to opt out and get back into the free agent market, they can stay with the team. Troy Brown Jr., who you know played for the Chicago Bulls, uh, went to the Los Angeles Lakers, had a pretty solid season for them last year. He gets a two-year deal with a, a team option in the second year to go to the Minnesota Timberwolves. Considering he's only 24 years old, he showed that he can be a pretty decent shooter, shooting 38% from deep last season playing with the Los Angeles Lakers. For a team with Rudy Gobert, they can, they, they, can, they can use as much shooting as they can get, right? Reggie Jackson also stays with the Denver Nuggets on a two-year, uh, uh, 
$10.25 million deal. Solid deal for him as well. I grade that deal. Eh, it wasn't a bit of an overpay. Could be. Uh, it's, it looks like they're using their taxpayer mid-level exception to retain him as well, which I get it. You lost Bruce Brown, but eh, we'll see. Jalen Carter gets three years, $20 million with the Chicago Bulls. We all know that the Bulls needed a point guard. They get a defensive first uh, point guard who can also uh, shoot the ball from three, 39.7% uh, from deep. He was in the 88th percentile as far as defense. Um, so, again, they get a solid 3 and D player, uh, better than Pat Bev, a more athletic version of Pat Bev who really helped propel that team in their second half of their season as well. Matu. Also, with the Suns, he gets a one-year deal at the veteran minimum. This deal is okay, right? When you look at what he's able to do, uh, he was 79 of, uh, of 265 from three over his last five seasons for 29%, so he's not going to stretch the floor at all there. But a one-year deal at the vet minimum, it's hard to really negate that at all. Uh, uh, Nane gets a deal with the Cleveland Cavaliers, three years, $26 million. So, uh, you know, solid deal for him there. Trey Jones stays with the Spurs. He gets a two-year, $20 million deal. So not any type of long-term money. He's still young. He can get back in free agency pretty early and still, you know, uh, improve that. The Spurs keep a point guard who, you know, with Victor Wimbiama coming in there, uh, could really help them. Uh, you know, it, it, we'll see if he can shoot the ball better from three to kind of help space that floor. But overall, pretty solid deal. Joe Ingles gets a, uh, he goes to the Magic on a two-year, $22 million deal. Considering all the forwards they have down there, I don't know if that deal makes sense for him. I mean, they paid him a pretty a pretty nice pay when he look at 36 years old. He's coming back uh, from a torn ACL. I don't know. I, I don't know if I'm as high on that deal, but it's cool. Uh, Yudo Watanabe signs a deal with the Phoenix Suns as well at a vet minimum one-year deal. I love that for them when you look at what he's able to do with hitting three-pointers, 44% on triples last season, even though he took, what, a little over two a game. Pretty solid deal there as well. Shake Milton signs with the Minnesota Timberwolves on a two-year, $10 million deal. I like that deal a lot for them as well. Herb Jones gets his big-time extension. Keep in mind, he opted out of a deal that was $1.8 million. He signs for four years, $54 million. Listen, they get one of the better uh, 3 and D players, a player that they developed, that they grew in. 98th percentile for him on the defensive end of the floor and 92nd percentile as far as estimated plus minus. Listen, I, they get a solid player with them. Josh Richardson is going to the Miami Heat on a two-year deal with the player option in year two. We don't have the exact financials on that, so we'll see. Ken Reddish also goes to the Los Angeles Lakers on a two-year deal. Don't have the contract details on that. Wouldn't be surprised if that's not a minimum also. Now, outside of those deals, right, we got some deals that were announced late last night. And first up with that one, Desmond Bain signs a contract extension with the uh, Minnesota, up uh, Minnesota, with the Memphis Grizzlies for five years, $207 million. That's bananas. Hey, shout out. One of the premier 3D players, a player that they developed. They also signed Derrick Rose on a two year, $6.5 million deal. So, you know, they're going to be weathering the storm while John Morant's going to miss the first, you know, third of the season. I like what they did there. Tyrese Halliburton also gets a big-time extension. He signs for five years, $260 million with the Indiana Pacers. Man, people are getting paid. That's just what it boils down to. It was a wild first day in free agency, but we ain't done. We're not done yet. And so we'll continue to monitor, review the deals. We'll you know, have more videos out on our thoughts of you know, each, game, each team kind of breaking down their acquisitions as free agency wraps the whole. But make sure you guys stay tuned in here. Hit that subscribe button. Uh, make sure you guys also follow the show at NBA Central Pod. You can send us any feedback, questions, comments, concerns, NBA Central Show at gmail.com. And then lastly, you want to leave a text message and our voicemail, the number to do so, 773-270-2799. We are the number one spot for everything Chicago Bulls related because of you guys. Like I like to end every episode on. I'll see you guys the next time I feel like making a video. Probably tomorrow. Peace. This has been a presentation of the Breaks, Breaks, Breaks Media. 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 Media.